That should keep it busy for a little while. Okay, so I've got a list here of things I want to talk about, and it basically revolves around uh, where is Funny Hacks going, where has it been, um, my hobbies, the projects I'm contributing to, um, yeah, that's it. Intro. Tick. So a lot has changed in my personal life in the last few years, a um, little bit of my work life, um, and uh, Funny Hacks has sort of been off to the side for quite a bit. So over the last wee while I've been trying to sort of work out where does that sit in the grand scheme of things, um, where do I want to, what things do I want to prioritise and all this type of stuff. Um, I'm still actually doing quite a lot of um, hacky stuff, um, although it's actually a lot cooler than a lot of the stuff that is, is on the channel, so it's like, well hang on, that's not quite right, I need to be showing off the coolest stuff rather than showing off the stuff I can quickly make a video with. So I've been trying to work out what what is it that I actually want to be putting on the channel um, and what do I want to gain from the channel. So I'm going to cover all that uh, later on in this video. I spent the last few months just sort of thinking about this quite a bit on um, how do I... I'm trying to do too many things. So how do I trim up things so that I can get the cool stuff done and uh, stop wasting time on the stuff that's just not making anyone's lives better. That then brings me to uh, this very short list, but it will make a big difference. So I wrote a tool called Coloured Web, and I did a few videos on that. At the time I couldn't find any program that did what I wanted to do. Um, now there's a whole heap of them. My favourite one is Dark Reader that works well on Chrome. There's another one which I can't remember the name of. I've been using it a bit on Firefox. Um, I actually use it on my phone. Uh, yes, that's what, um, uh, that's what Google looks like on my phone. That is uh, quite cool. It uh, makes it uh, much more useful. But anyway, there's good plugins available now for both um, Firefox and Chrome, and therefore Chrome-based browsers. Um, so I'm using one called Vivaldi at the moment, and um, uh, yeah, it just works really well. So uh, I'll put links to this in the in the notes. Uh, if you're using Coloured Web, um, I really recommend uh, those. Uh, actually, I'll just add a note to that. So I'm not going to do any more with Coloured Web for now. It may be that I'll pick it up again sometime in the future. I'm not sure when that would be. It all depends. If, there's, if uh, it is useful to you, feel free to submit pull requests and maybe I'll become more active. But um, if you're submitting interesting stuff, then um, I will be very happy to merge that in. Uh, trimming old repos. I've got a whole lot of repos on my account which are basically idle. Most of them are the uh, Dash experimenting repos or experimentation. Um, I've got one of those which is going to remain active and it'll just be an active occasionally while I'm developing something that may or may not end up in actual. Um, the others will probably all slowly disappear and I'm just trying to work out the most elegant way of doing that, i.e. is someone relying on it and how do they find it and all this type of stuff. So probably I'm going to stick up notices on them and just uh, say hey right this is no longer in active use, go here for Maybe you're looking for. I just need to double check, I haven't forgotten about something here. Right, okay, so there definitely were a couple of things that I forgot to talk about there. Uh, I like trains. Um, this was um, an idea, uh, it wasn't really going to improve anyone's lives, um, and uh, uh, it was much more hassle than uh, it was worth. It was a cool idea, but it really wasn't worth the hassle. So I'm going to put that one away for now. Um, was it something I ate? Um, this one's going on, on hibernation for a little while. I might uh, pull it out again later on. Um, BU, that was uh, scripts for doing backups. Um, there's so many tools out there. Why am I writing my own? Um, yeah, that one's going away. Uh, AWS SDK. Um, this is something that is, um, uh, it's a clone of the old deprecated thing way, be way before they deprecated it. Um, there's no value in me having it there anymore, so that's going to disappear as well. Uh, Mass DevOps Dream. Okay, this is a bit of a longer topic. Um, so the long story, uh, there's a long story behind why there is a uh, forking between uh, Mass and DevOps Dream, they will uh, come down into one. Um, what's happening with the direction of it? 
um, I got quite frustrated that uh, people were criticizing it behind my back but they weren't telling it to my face and they weren't doing anything about it to actually help. Um, it took me a long time to work out how I wanted to deal with that in a constructive way, like do you do nothing, do you actually try and fix the problems, and I spent a long time actually trying to fix the problems that I was hearing about second hand rather than that, uh, and um, it still didn't make any difference, those people still complained about other things instead, um, or they complained about the same things but in ignorance. Um, so my focus now is, I, there's alternatives, people are slowly writing alternatives um, that are doing parts of the functionality, but it doesn't come anywhere close to what, um, nothing I'm aware of comes close to what I'm able to do with those. So I'm going to continue, for now it's going to be along the DevOps stream, but at some point I'm going to match, match, I'm going to merge the two things uh, back together. Uh, so I'm going to continue developing it for myself. I'm going to continue maintaining it. Um, you're welcome to continue using it. Um, but I'm not going to be putting effort into doing things for other people for it for now. Um, if I start getting pull requests, um, I will reevaluate that uh, stance. So now that I've been slowly putting things down that uh, weren't really contributing, uh, weren't really creating any value, um, and now, I just, now I'm just starting to do that officially, but in the meantime it's allowed me to do work on other things, and I've started doing um, Android app development, um, got some really cool things in the works there, and yeah, I'm working on all sorts of interesting cool things. As I'm starting to do more of the robotics, which is what the whole actual language was originally for, I'm starting to notice how um, how heavy actual has become. Um, there's so much that it can do now, um, and it used to run very, very fast on a Raspberry Pi, whereas now you have to wait several seconds for it to load. So I've got a whole heap of optimization in the works um, there that will... I think that's at least a month away. That's probably more than a month away. Um, but there's massive um, potential to make it go faster. Um, so that'll be really cool. There's a whole heap more that I'm working on. Yeah, it's it's going to be really cool. I'm going to try and release videos of the really interesting stuff that I'm working on rather than releasing for the sake of releasing. Uh, the problem has never been um, having enough content. Um, the problem has been having time to do the stuff I want to do and have time to uh, make a video about it. So that then brings to, well, what are we getting out of all of this? And, uh... This hasn't, this Funny Hacks did not begin as a money-making thing. Um, it sort of began as an audition to get onto a network, which I guess is kind of a money-making thing. It was, it was partly me showcasing and learning stuff, and it was also about, um, I was trying to get onto a network, and I got really close. Um, we were in discussions and everything, and then the recession hit, and... Was that the reason we didn't get anywhere? I don't know. But it never never worked out. And so I ended up um, continuing, continuing along the same line for all of uh, Season 1. And that was very heavy in editing. Um, I was actually part way through Season 1 that I lightened up a little bit. And then in Season 2, I had a quite a different focus. Um, I had uh, Tim with me. That was really cool. That brought a really nice vibe to it. Um, season 3 has just basically been perpetual since then, and it's just been slowly evolving, and the thing that's really been changing is that um, ages ago I attained the quality that I wanted, the video production that I wanted, um, and I slowly got more and more efficient at achieving it, uh, to the point that I could actually um, edit the video in roughly double the time that the video would play for, um, which is frickin' fast. <laughs> um, but it also meant that I had to be doing it regularly to achieve that sort of time, otherwise things slowly slipped and it ended up to, um, becoming hours. Um, so now 
I've, I've slowly evolved over that time to becoming just um, just keeping it the bare minimum. So if I need to put up some text, it'll just be very plainly up there and everything. Um, but mostly I rely on the um, stuff around the edges and uh, what am I trying to say? Basically, less time I'm making it look good, more time I'm making interesting uh, content, and more time getting on with uh, all the other things in life. That's it. So, what am I, what am I getting out of it? it? Gives me a chance to practice talking in a coherent manner, planning what I want to say, and actually saying it in a way that people can actually understand. That's really nice. Um, it gives me a bit of a portfolio, um, and that's really cool from two perspectives. It gives people a bit of an idea of some of the stuff I've done, sort of as a hobby, as a bit of a playground. Um, I don't put work stuff on here. Um, I quite intentionally don't put work stuff on here. So it is quite different from a work portfolio. It, it does sort of give that background on the hobbies, um, which is quite nice. It also gives me something I can look back on. When I want to sort of see where I've been and uh, think about where I'm going, um, it's quite nice to sort of look at the things I've achieved and then go, oh yeah, that's how I did that thing. Um, and then that might give me a little bit of um, thought for, well actually, that worked really well, or this other thing worked really well, and then I can extend on that. You'll notice I've never had ads on my videos. Um, at some point that might make sense. At the moment my audience isn't large enough to justify the complications in tax from earning revenue off the videos. Um, so I'm doing these videos purely for what I've just said, it's for my own learning. One of the things I've always sort of touted with this is that I think it's really important to encourage people to understand the technology that they're working with, uh, understand the technology that's around them and what they can do that it wasn't originally under, uh, wasn't originally designed for. Because I feel like more and more we're becoming a culture of here is a box which has a whole heap of stuff inside. We're completely shielded from what's going on inside the box, and. I mean, you just look at a modern phone that we have here. Um, the amount of power this phone has. Um, this phone is significantly higher spec than the first video rig that I could re do real-time video editing in. And yet, um, it's, I do much less with it. And I'm starting to do more with it, but that's another video for another day. Um, but the point that I'm making is that um, what we do with our phones is such a... This, so far short on what we could achieve with them. And I think if we understand the technology better, we have a much better chance of actually doing really cool stuff with it. Okay, so in all of this, I've been talking a lot about how the content is going to change. There have been a few occasions where um, I have said, right, I'm going to be putting up videos more regularly. I'm not going to do that today. I've... Uh, typically done that whenever I've gone, right, I've got a whole heap more content to put out and I'm going to go and upload it and I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. And then I end up becoming a slave to it and it's taking up all my free time and everything. And that's not what this should be about. Um, this should be about um, sharing cool stuff and going and doing cool stuff, still having time to go and do that cool stuff. Um, therefore, uh, I'm going to upload stuff occasionally. I'm going to try not to um, upload more than maybe two videos in one week, and it could go many weeks in between um, in between the videos. Um, but when I have something cool to show, and I've had time to actually edit it and upload it and do the corresponding blog posts and all this type of stuff, um, then there'll be something to see. Um, if that works for you, great. Be great to have you about. Um, hope you enjoy it. I have decided that, yes, I am still getting value out of doing this. So, yes, I'm going to be continuing for a while. Um, I'm certainly um, continuing with all the projects and everything that I'm doing. If you have a look at my GitHub account, you will see there is a lot of activity there. There has been solid activity since I first signed up with GitHub. If any of what I'm doing is interesting you, then great. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say about that. Anyway, um, have a good day.